Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Thermaltake Tough Band 12 Pro. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging right here. Everything looks great. This is a two pack of our 120 millimeter fans with RPM speeds ranging from 500 all the way up to 2000 RPMs. Max airflow coming in at 70.8 CFM for one fan and noise level showing around 22.6 decibels for one fan and four pin PWM connector. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up we have our product literature followed by our hardware kits. This includes four screws to install on a case as well as four screws to install through a radiator. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we have that for both fans. We also have two of our low noise cables right here included. So take a look at what you're seeing there. Very thick insulation. Moving right along, we have both of our fans. They're identical to each other. They feel really nice. They have a great weight to them. They just feel heavy duty. That bearing is super smooth. We'll look at it from all different sides and angles here. We got the Thermaltake logo and branding. Got our airflow directional arrows. Here's a look at the back side. DC brushless, 12 volt, 0.7 amps. And then we'll spin it again. Super smooth. And then same thing with the other one. Again, they're identical, all different sides and angles. Got the airflow, got their branding. There's a look at the backside, our power cable. No RGB on these, just keep that in mind in case you're wondering, just our single fan power cable. Now let's go ahead, let's get these installed and try them out. All right, so we have the fan connected to our test bench right here. Everything is working great. I got some data to share with you guys. So we tested this at different power percentages, 25, 50, 75, and 100%. I'll give you the RPM readouts, as well as the decibels at each of those increments. We also tested it with and without the low noise cable, so you can get a feel for if that's gonna be the right addition to your setup or not. So let's talk about the data. So without the low noise cable, at 25%, we got 505 RPMs. That's the same performance with the low noise cable. Same for the 50% readout. So at 50%, the fan speed was 1,010 RPMs with and without the cable. Moving up to 75%, the same performance. 1,515 RPMs with or without the cable for its fan speeds. It's not until we get to that 100% mark that we see a pretty drastic reduction in performance. Without the cable, we peaked at around 2,030 RPMs. With the cable installed, we peaked at around 1,560 RPMs. Now, what does that look like in regards to FPM measuring the air flowing from the fan? Well, without the cable installed, 826.8 FPMs. With the cable installed, that decreases to 649.6 FPM. So what we're seeing here at that 100% max performance, there is gonna be a difference in regards to the actual performance of the fan with that low noise cable installed. Now let's actually talk about the noise. So the noise value really doesn't change for 25, 50, and 75%. At 25%, you're looking at right around 33 decibels, 50%, 39 decibels, 75%, 51 decibels without, and 49 with the cable. So now we're starting to see a little bit of a shift here. And then we see a much bigger and more drastic change at 100%. 58 decibels without the low noise cable, and only 50 decibels with the low noise cable. But Keep in mind the RPMs are equal there. So I believe how this cable is helping us to have lower noise, it's just the fan is not gonna be spinning as fast. So now let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the Thermaltake Tough Fan 12 Pro. Overall, very pleased with the build quality and performance. I really don't have any feedback besides the same old, same old. I'd like even better performance, and I'd like the fan to be even quieter. I could complain about not having RGB or daisy chain connections, but they have that available with their other products and fans. So with that being said, this fits its own product category for certain PC builders out there that want this specific fan with its anti-vibration brackets, with the ability to make some adjustments with hardware with like the low um, noise cable, or again, if you wanna tweak it with software in your BIOS settings, all that good stuff can be done with this fan. So, so far, so good, quiet, powerful, looks great, and nice build quality.